guys, welcome back to our Pokemon adventure. You join today, me Cameron, with... Hello. Tim. <laughs> We're just heading over to Danson Park, which has recently, according to... You said it was something called a Pokemon Nest Online. Mm -hmm. Yes. Has recently been reset um, to a Kabuto... Right? Mm -hmm. Kabuto Nest. And obviously, that's our hard-ass fossil. We need that if we're going to be wrecking more of these Team Valor gyms and, you know, just crushing the rebellion of Team Instinct because, honestly, they're not even mainstream. They're, they're just a little group of people. They're like rebels without a cause. So we're going to put them down. So we're going to go grab these Kabutops and then it's off to another new location for you guys, which is Dartford Park. And maybe we'll get some subway along the way on our journey of healthy and unhealthiness. Ah. Uh, is there anything else we can get in Danson? Don't think so. Tim Blackberries! I think they're getting better. You know, this is what I like about our trips, Tim. There's literally blackberry bushes everywhere we go, so I don't need to buy fruits anymore. I can just be like, come, and not be accused of theft. <laughs> uh, all right so yes see you guys later i say intelligent conversation all right welcome back guys well this is still pokemon go i'm just i just mean do you remember i asked earlier if we had a flood would the amount of water pokemon in our vicinity increase no but it's google maps right so clearly google maps would change and say you are now a water area like that, like all those troubled places over. Remember when I was in India, the amount I'm sure the water types would have increased if I had Pokemon Go. Okay. What about if you have an extreme drought? Wood ground on it here. No, it's first gen Pokemon. If you had an extreme drought, would Vulpix appear? No. Would other fire types appear? They'd appear, but it wouldn't make any difference if you ran. How about if I had a sudden emergence of the forest where Rita land, would I miss my old friend? If we've. The legendary we get would be the opposite of the start we caught at the beginning, and if you caught Pikachu, you get Lugia. Second turn again. Oh, fine. Ho oh, Ho Ho appeared Second in the TV gen. series in the first one. Second gen. He's kind of first gen. They had a golden bird. Okay, okay, okay. We had three legendary... Mew! If you catch Pikachu, you get Mew too. There you go. Bah! Right. What about... Um... Okay, so the original point we were trying to make is Tim here believes... Yes. If you are Team Valor, you get Moltres. If you're Team Instinct, you get Zapdos. If you're Team Mystic, you get the super badass Articuno, which will wreck them all. Because we're Articuno, we look good, right? My belief is you get the opposite of whatever your team is. So if you are Team Mystic, you would get your polar opposite, which is Moltres, and so on and so forth. With the exception really being of Zapdos, because he doesn't seem to be anyone's weakness. Is Moltres weak to Zapdos? Yeah, because it's flying electric. Ah. There you go. So, that's how I'm working out. I'm assuming if we're Team Mystic, we get Moltres. Team Valor will get Zapdos, and Zapdos will get Articuno. Would Electric be weak against Articuno? Well, they'd both be weak because Ice is fetched against Flying, Electric is fetched against Flying, oh. so. so. So, where does Fire mix into this? Fire against Ice. Well, that's, okay. That's not cool, Tim. So basically, in the end... So, alright. Because I'm saying this is... Ba Pokemon Go is basically Pokemon Leaf Green and Fire Red and all the other originals. I've gone with... You would get the opposite, but that's Slender Dogs, you said. 
Okay, Tim, this, this conversation is leading nowhere. What is, what is your definitive solution? I don't know what the question was. When it was what the was. So. Goodbye. Hello, darkness. Hello there, guys. We managed to successfully capture um, a couple of Kabutops, enough for about 20 uh, candy. Tim can now evolve a Kabutops. Yes, yes. We are just enjoying some of the kernel finest at our refueling stop and I'm hoping for Subway later. And then we'll be off to Darford Park. Alright guys, we've managed to do it. We've reached Darford now. Um, home to very cheap good theatre. Some very nice sights. I think that's basically, if you wanted to, you could dip your feet in that problem and you'd be fine. You know? We've got Tim here. And I think, what is this known for? Near to the Dartford Library is where the Dartford Park is. But what is this area known for, you know, uh, Pokemon wise? Ponies Park? Ponies Park. Tim, the Colonels. Right next to the church, so you can pay for forgiveness for all that tender looking goodness. But anyway, we've got to get to that park, so see you later. Well, well alright guys, welcome back. Um, 89, Catalyst Gambler, Catalyst Gambler, Slade Green, with Tim here. Hello. So we've been out day, pretty much most of the day we went out at 2, it's now 9 30 on our way back. As we told you before, we went to uh, Danson Park, we went to Welling, we hit up Dartford Park, we hit up Dartford itself, we hit up uh, Greenwich Park and Greenwich, and it has been an amazing haul for today. Um, I have seen about seven or eight new Pokemon, core new Pokemon, on my game. Tim has, what, what do you want to do? Like one more. Tim's got a one more Pokemon, because Tim's a beast. Um, I got a Dragonair, hatched an Oddish, found a, another few Charmanders, uh, caught a Squirtle, Squirtle's new, Dragonair's new, um, Oddish is new, what else is it? We found that Slowbro, so we basically went down to Dartford thinking it would still be a Ponytar um, nest. Turned out it switched to a Slowbro nest, and then we found a Slowbro. So we think that wherever nests are, you'll find the next evolution. Uh, we also worked out that basically it's going to be in a circle, so it's the nest will switch between the either the Pokemon next to it or the Pokemon below it, basically between four. Uh, we also managed to get, well, I managed to get a couple more new Pokemon. What, what else did I get to? Alright, so I think, oh, we had like a mini boss battle um, in the university in Greenwich. Basically, as we're walking by, we just, we just come out after having a, our third dinner of the day. And um, to our surprise, an Aerodactyl was registered on our film. We were just like, what the fuck is an Aerodactyl? Oh my fucking god. We sprinted to the university, seeing a load of other people just running in there. And we clearly had noticed it as well. And then we are just like, where is, it? where is it? And I'm like, Tim, it's in front of us. Right in front of us. The Aerodactyl. Shooters Hill Road. Caught it. It's like it was 1,050 CP. I know that ain't much for many of you, but for me, that's my strongest Pokemon so far. I'm only level 17, so I caught that. And that's a new Pokemon. I also matched up. There's a new Pokemon. For me. Also, we had I hatched one afterwards, so now I have enough candy to evolve it. So we'll hang on to that for the next mass bash thing. What else did we get to? Shooters Hill Road, Academy Road. Those, those, pretty soon got something else to do. Oh, Magma. Oh, yeah. Yeah, found a Magma that was just chilling by the lake. Uh, 690 CV, pretty decent as well. Um, I managed to get that. The slow road was 820, so that's pretty decent. What else did we manage to get? Um, Basically, we've got too many Pokemon, we just can't keep track. I've got like Volpix. Volpix was new for me as well. There you go. 89. So, two let's just say that's basically three. everything we've got today. Oh, Kabuto. That's another one we went to in Dazzle Park. It was obviously, we said that was a Kabuto 
um, Poker Nest, and we've got about four of them, so I'm halfway now to, well, I've got enough that I've got about 20 candy, so I'm most of the way now to evolving, halfway to evolving one, basically. So it was, it was a pretty decent haul today, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, it was pretty good. Um, I'll take some pictures of the haul later, but anyway, until next time guys, you know, keep adventuring, keep going out, keep enjoying this wonderful world of Pokemon. Red Lion Lane. See you. Goodbye.